Okay, so in the, the final part of this Ezekiel study, um, I want to talk about Ezekiel 45, 13 through 23 first. And um, this part is what I think a lot of people look at this and they say, well, it's a done deal. This is a temple in the city of Jerusalem, which is in the country of Israel in the Middle East. And they, they say that it is because you have um, Damascus in here. You have all of these cities. But again, um, considering everything else that we've seen with this temple paralleling the heavenly temple and also having it return to earth and pour out water so that it can replenish the earth, please consider that these places in Israel have been named after the places in these in the Bible. That's all I'm saying is just to consider that. In the same way that New York and some of the other cities in the United States have been named after more ancient cities in Europe, all I'm saying is consider that these cities that were named in that Middle Eastern area I'm just saying to consider that they may have been named after these names in the Bible, these names that are in these ancient texts, because we don't really know how old these texts really are. We know that some of the Old Testament texts are coming from more ancient texts that were in ancient Sumeria. So how many of these biblical texts go back even further than what they were led to believe and it is possible that those places in the Middle East were named after these places in the ancient text that's all I'm saying because it makes sense to me and if you look at the meanings of the words themselves then it makes sense so let me just go through Ezekiel 45 13 through 23 Thus saith the Lord God, This shall be the border, whereby you shall inherit the whole earth, according to the twelve tribes of Israel. Israel means God prevails, mighty heroes, strong perseverance, among other things. Joseph means Yahweh has added or increased. So it says, according to the 12 tribes of strong perseverance, Yahweh has increased. Joseph, the tribe of Joseph, shall have two portions, and ye shall inherit it, one as well as another, concerning the which I lifted up mine hand to give it unto your fathers. And this land, or the whole earth, because that word arets, it also means the whole earth. And the whole earth shall fall unto you for inheritance. And this shall be the border of the land toward the north side. From the great sea, the way of Hethlon. And Hethlon means hiding place. So the way of the hiding place, as men go to Zadad, which means mountainside, so by way of the hiding place, as men go to the mountainside, Hamath, which means fortress, Baratha, which means cypress grove, Zib, sorry, I'm sorry if I'm not pronouncing all of these right, but Sibraim, which means twofold hope, which is between the border of Damascus, which means silent is the sackcloth weaver, and the border of Hamath, which is fortress. Hazar Hadakon, which means middle court, which is by the coast of Haran, caverns, and the border from the sea shall be shall be 
Hazaranan, the village of the springs, the border of Silent is the Sackcloth Weaver, and then north, northward, and the border of the fortress, and this is the north side. And the east side ye shall measure from the caverns, and from the Silent Sackcloth Weaver, and from the rocky region, and from the land of Israel, the mighty heroes of the strong perseverance. By the descender, now Jordan means descender. So by the descension place, maybe, by the descender, from the border under the East Sea, and this is the east side. And the south side southward from the palm tree, even to the waters of strife in holy, Kadesh means holy, the river to the great sea, and this is the south side southward. The west side also shall be the great sea from the border, till a man come over against the fortress. This is the west side. So shall ye divide this land unto you according to the tribes of Israel, according to the tribes of the strong perseverance. And it shall come to pass that you shall divide it by lot for an inheritance unto you, and to the strangers that sojourn among you, which shall beget children among you, and they shall be unto you as born in the country among the children of Israel. And they shall have inheritance with you among the tribes of Israel. And it shall come to pass that in what tribe the stranger sojourneth, there shall ye give him his inheritance. So I'm just saying here. I think that it's possible that this whole thing for all these thousands of years has been talking about something that's going to happen in the future involving tribes, involving humans being separated into tribes, taken off the earth, and then returned. That's just what it sounds like to me. So notice here in Ezekiel 48, 29 through 35, it says, This is a land, or a rex, or a whole earth, which you shall divide by lot under the tribes of Israel for inheritance, and these are their portions, saith the Lord God. And these are the goings out of the city on the north side. 4,500 measures, and the gates of the city shall be after the names of the tribes of Israel, three gates northward, and at the east three gates, at the south three gates, at the west three gates. So this is the same as what is described in Revelation 21, 10 through 13. It says, And he carried me away and showed me the great city, holy Jerusalem, descending out of heaven. And it says that... Um, the wall had 12 gates um, named after the 12 tribes of the children of Israel. And on the east three gates, on the north three gates, on the south three gates, and on the west three gates. So this is the same thing that's being described in Ezekiel 48, 29 through 35. So another reference that's, that's saying, wow, maybe this really is the, the holy, heavenly, temple that's being described in Ezekiel. And the last thing that I wanted to point out is that um, this is very interesting in Ezekiel 48 verse 35 where it says, and the name of the city from that day shall be the Lord is there. So, if the Lord is going to stay there from that day on, from that day forward, that's what it seems to be implying. It's saying the name of the city from that day forward shall be the Lord is there. But it seems to be implying that the Lord is there in that city. And if that's true then wouldn't that be, and, and I'm not the only one who's been, who's seen it. I, I've, act, I've seen other people interpret this scripture the same way and saying, wait a minute, this sounds like it's after 
the tribulation. This sounds like when Christ is returning to the earth. Because remember, Christ stays on the earth. And um, it says in Revelation that, um, that those who are taken to heaven to the, to the safe place will reign with Christ on earth. For a thousand years so that's my study of the temple and um, whether or not Ezekiel is referring to a heavenly temple or a physical temple is a matter of opinion but that does not negate the fact that we have had these fulfillments and and please again I have proven this I have logically proven with scripture in these other videos that we have had these fulfillments um, in Daniel Daniel 12 11 on August 2nd 2012 Daniel 12 12 on September 16th 2012 and Daniel and um, Revelation 1, Revelation 12, 1 through 5 on October 16th, 2012. And please, I'm begging you, if you haven't seen those videos, please, because please watch them. I've linked everything below this video. And I go into detail and I prove and I show you what the words mean and how... I know that these fulfillments have happened. And again, I'm not saying that these fulfillments are the absolute final fulfillments that will happen. We know that there was a fulfillment of Revelation 12, 1 through 5 in 1570. And there will be another fulfillment in 2454. We know that there have been multiple fulfillments of like for example the abomination of desolation which was the dome of the rock that sat in Jerusalem we know that that was a fulfillment we've had multiple fulfillments of these scriptures in the past which means that we could very well have multiple fulfillments of these scriptures in the future so I'm not saying that these are the final fulfillments that will ever happen but the fact is that these fulfillments have happened whether or not you believe that Ezekiel 40 is describing a heavenly temple or not it does not change the fact that these fulfillments have occurred and that um, and that includes 2nd Thessalonians 2 3 and 4 that that has been fulfilled as well so um, that's my study of the temple my next video, I'm going to go into explaining um, the abomination of desolation and the, and the tribulation and the, mis, um, the misunderstandings about the tribulation. So that's going to be my next video. Um, I hope you guys are doing well, and I'll talk to you later. Okay, bye-bye.